If you're like me, your desktop on your computer is probably a mess, but how would you like to go from this jumbled mess to this? I'll show you how. One of my favorite features on Mac OS X is the Stacks feature, where you can automate organizing your desktop by file type. Unfortunately, Microsoft has not added that feature to Windows, but I'm gonna show you how you can get that. We're gonna use Power Automate for Desktop, which you can download for free from the Microsoft Store on Windows 10 or Windows 11. And inside of my desktop flow, I'm going to first specify the special folder step. And that way I can create a variable for the desktop location. And that way I don't have to specify it every time and hard code it. And then if I move this to another machine that maybe the desktop location is slightly different, I only have to update it in that one place. So we're going to say if a folder exists, and we're going to do this for each of the types of files I want to do. I wanted shortcuts, I wanted documents, and I wanted images. And this is what I really like about this approach is you can customize it a lot more than the Stacks feature. The Stacks feature is great, but if you want to go outside of the box and have it put the files in some other folder or some other location, you really can't do that. And so this lets us do that. So I do an if folder exists step, and there's a lot of great conditional folder steps and file steps, but you see the if folder exists, I drag that over and then specify my special folder location slash shortcuts. And what I want to do is I want to have it create that folder if that folder doesn't exist. This creates a group of steps ending with an end step. And anything you put in the <clears throat> inside of there will happen if that exists. If you want something to happen, if that doesn't exist, then you would drag an else step and put what you want to have in this case, create folder and creating a shortcut folder. Then I'm going to get files in folder, specifically in the desktop. You're going to have my special location of desktop. And then you will specify the file filter you want to use because there might be different types of files and I want to organize them based on file type. So in this case, I wanted the desktop shortcuts. So I do asterisk dot LNK, which is what your desktop shortcuts use inside of Windows. And then I'm going to have a move file step and move the files to a special folder path slash shortcuts. Then continue the same process for the other types, for images and then for documents. When you're done, you will then have to be able to run this whenever you want to clean up your desktop. Uh, specifically for documents, I wanted to specify any type of Word document, CSV, or PDF. And so you'll see you can separate in the file filter, you can separate that with semicolons. So I can do star.xlsx, star.docx, star.pptx, and separate those with semicolons. Then save it and then run it. And then you can watch it run. If you have any errors, you'll see the errors down below. You'll see it ran in about four seconds. But one of the coolest things about this is I can actually make a desktop shortcut or keyboard shortcut where I can run this whenever I want to, or even automate it using Windows Schedule. So if I right click and go to properties, then I can specify a keyboard shortcut. In my case, control D. Now I should mention that this is one of the features that requires a premium license. If you just download it and use it for free, you would have to launch it from the console. Even with that, it's not hard to do at all. So now I have a Stacks-like feature on my Windows 11 desktop. Do you have any questions about the Power Platform that you'd like us to address in one of our Power Platform Answers videos? Please leave it in a comment here. And don't forget to like and subscribe and follow for more.